Hello everyone. Today is another day and another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys a really, really simple technique that I've actually used in one of my YouTube videos that you've already seen. Uh, we use this a ton in our corporate work, um, in our interviews more specifically. Just a really simple way in Premiere to make your subject pop. Um, and honestly, it's so simple. Really quickly, I'm going to show you how I did it. So this is at a quarter of the resolution, by the way, um, and this is the footage with nothing on it. Okay, I'm just going to play through what it looks like to turn this effect on and off. Me talking, nothing's on, and there we go. That is this really bright, sunny, snowy effect. This is what we're working towards. Uh, so I'm going to make a new sequence so we can start from scratch. I'm just going to pull my clip into timeline over here. Uh, really quickly, I'm just going to throw a LUT on. So I go over here to Lumetri, Lumetri, Lumetri. Cool. So I have my LUT on and just modify the intensity. Scroll down to my tone curves over here. I'll usually play with the tone curve a bit. So I'll bring the highlights up and I'll bring the shadows down a bit to create a bit of a, an S curve. And I'll bring up the darks a touch, a little, little, little bit. So yeah, that's what we're gonna start with. So we have that one Lumetri color effect on, and I'm gonna drag a second one onto the clip. And now we are going to create a mask. So click the pen tool over here, and just start making dots around your subject. Um, this pen tool can be really annoying. I'm sure some of you hate it. Sometimes I hate this pen tool, but it can be super helpful. So you don't have to get super close to your subject because we're gonna feather these edges too. So just click, 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 and seal it in at the bottom. So there you go, you have a mask now. And we're gonna feather out the edges. Um, let's start at like 86. Let's go down to curves again. And really, we're just gonna brighten this up, like a ton. I've brought up the highlights quite a bit, and you can see now all the shadows are lifted, which we don't want because that makes me look really faded. So we're gonna create another S-curve type situation. And in this one, I'm gonna bring the blacks down. I swear every time I do this a little bit differently. Don't freak out too much. It doesn't look the exact same as my video because I'm, I'm just playing with it right now. That's fine. Okay, so now you're really seeing the effect this mask is having. If I turn it on and off, holy crap, is that not way, way better than this? And is it not way better than that? That looks, that looks terrible. What I think I'm going to do is this mask looks a bit harsh on the edges here, so I'm gonna feather it even more. Uh, I think probably to like one, let's do 115. You can really see what works for your particular shot. I mean, the more you feather it, the more natural it's gonna fade into the, the darker background. So to show you guys what both of these effects do on and off, um, so this is, again, this is nothing. This is just with color. And this is with the mask. So no mask, no color, just the mask with no color, and then with color. What a difference. Seriously, what a huge difference. It, changed, it changes the entire shot. And that's really it. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. I really hope this tip was helpful for some of you. Uh, again, it's super, super easy. A really easy way to make your interviews pop or any subject pop in your footage. Um, and if you don't already, please like and subscribe. That would mean so much to me, and I'll see you guys next week.